Hi guys and welcome to this unboxing of the Novrich SSR90 Generation 2. As you see before you, this is already unboxed, but that's because this is the Novrich P90 SSR90 Generation 1. And I now have also Generation Ta da! So, here first of all is the Gen 1. And when Norwich announced that he was uh, releasing Generation 2, I actually was in the position to be able to buy it immediately. So, I did. And we can start off immediately. First, look at the boxes. As you see, it's a uh, Pretty big difference. They have really made the box quite smaller. Probably not as much uh, foam and fluff inside as you see here in the Gen 1. There's a whole lot of extra foam really for not much worth. Oh, there's my dragon. Here's a dragon. Good. So now we have the Gen 2. The box is considerably smaller. And one immediate difference I see from the box is... Uh, there's slightly newer artwork, but also, first of all, this... He now have the licensed by FN Herstal on the outside. He do not have it on this box. But here we do. So I'm gonna do a genuine first look unboxing of this and some side by side comparison with the Gen 1 Novrich SSR90, the Novrich P90. And I also have a my old, more generic, uh, I think this is a SEMA, I'm not sure actually, but I do think it's a SEMA. If I want an extra opinion on something, so let's dive in. First of all, in my package from ordering from Norwich, we also got this. I haven't opened that yet, as you see. This is, will be the live reaction, first opening of our little love letter from the Novrich crew. Let's see what we have here. Obviously a patch, I see. Oh, come on. We have a Novrich patch. Very nice. I am a patch collector, so why not? Ooh. The SSP 18 in patch format. Okay. I might be doing a giveaway of this. I don't use his pistol yet, and if I will be using a pistol in the future, it won't be the SSP-18 still. So, that'll be a nice giveaway. The Mr. Novrich himself. Hmm, normal commercial pamphlet, QR codes to web links and stuff. Okay, fine and nice. A little love letter. What's up? How was your order? Why are we doing this? Okay, the generic. Please write to us if we are not happy. Mm-hmm, nice, nice. And what's this? Oh, stickers. Ooh. Oh yeah, stickers. Yeah, okay, that's pretty nice. 
Don't mix up your BBs, mark any container or speed loader with these stickers, these stickers, so I can mark all my BB containers with what mm, weight I'm using and if they are bio and even tracer. Well, why not? That's some extra benefits. <laughs> And a bit more. They have definitely the Norwich concern. Uh, the Norwich gang has definitely upped their um, humor and uh, funnies and memes and stuff. Nice, nice. So let's up open this bad girl then. Do not worry, I'm a professional idiot. Use knives with caution. Sticky! Yeah! Static electricity! Why not? Let's see what we have here then. Let's open this baby up. Ah, foam! There she goes. The Norwich SSR90 start. Good silica gel. Why not? I use these in my battery boxes and also in my 3d print print boxes or you can just throw them away up to you start press start no okay oh, this is your new christoph yay buddy yaddy yaddy get inspired yaddy 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 ah yes the programming that's good to have here if you don't know the p90 hey look at that normal little uh, clearing rod also good shit the p90 comes with a um, mosfet trigger mosfet which is programmable and that's very good in sweden or at least in the arena i use uh, in the arena i play at i should say i use pre-cocking um, so i have semi Semi and auto on my gun. I'm not uh, allowed to use auto, but you need to have auto on the precock to release the precock when you're out gaming. So this is a very simple programming step. Fire selector on semi, hold trigger until two long beeps. And then you switch between the menu of one beep, two beep, three beep. And depending on what you go for, you have... Uh, one long beep there, one short beep semi on semi, two short beep binary on semi. This gun can also go binary. If, if you don't know what binary fire is, it's that it shoots one shot when you pull the trigger. And then when you release a trigger, it also shoots. So it shoots twice on one pull. Many arenas, including my Tempus CQB arena, uh, do not like that rule because it fires faster than full auto guns. So on my arena specifically, um, binary triggers are not allowed. And I'm not mad about that, but it's good to have binary as a selection in the gun. Because if I do visit an arena that do allow binary, <laughs> I'm not more, I'm not better of a guy than to use it, of course. And then we have, uh, I can burst, one short is auto on auto, one full auto, as long as I keep the trigger in, I shoot auto, but I can also do burst on auto instead, so I have semi and burst auto, three burst round. And then, of course, the menu I'm going to use, the pre-cocking, so it pulls up the piston, and has it in a ready mode. So the release 
is instant. It's the shot is much, much quicker than the normal AEGs that has to cycle the piston, pull it back and then release it. Uh, the this gearbox or when you have pre-cock in any gearbox but this gun with pre-cock can have it pre-cocked in five different levels so five different stages of a ready pulled back piston ready to fire uh, i do enjoy that <sighs> removing recoil pads spare parts accessories recipient guide yada yada safety guidelines yes don't be a dick Normally, um, I do like that Norwich does have a lot of accessories and spare parts. Of course, these are spare parts you can get from any store. Yes, I know that. Uh, and Norwich do take extra money just for placing his name on it. Absolutely. I am very fully aware of that. That's why I don't buy much Norwich items but i am a sucker for p90s i have three of them now so the gen 2 i just had to have so let's see here what we do have we can see differences here immediately the p90 markings here and the caliber is now engraved into the metal it's not here that's just laser laser engraved just on the uh, surface this is more uh, deeply embossed this is definitely in the um, when they pour the metal it's in there it's embossed or whatever the correct name is the SSR 90 is still embossed deeply engraved here and the uh, uh, Fabrique Nationale hairstyle text here Let's see where you can see it there you can see it is on both gen 1 and gen 2 is just laser engraved here as well there we go laser engraved the serial number seems to be this is laser engraving And this is also laser engraving. They have just, it seems, uh, might be just a feeling, but it seems like these numbers are a little bit bigger than Gen 1, but that can be just a simple illusion. Optical illusion. This is something I did not like on the Gen 1 P90, and I cannot understand why Novrich that... Uh, claims he has such a high quality uh, let this pass through quality checks when he orders his build from China they are still made in China by some company uh, and he says he has improved the build and done some tweaks but he still lets this slide he lets this go in uh, in production why uh, and I have seen other reviews also that mention the same thing about this seam. And let's not talk about the rubber butt pad. Uh, not a fan, Novich. It works, but I'm not a fan. I cannot understand how this cheap plastic crap version of a P90 can have so much better seam quality than this. This is at least three hundred dollars and more, three and a half, three thousand, three thousand. No, that's in Swedish krona. Three hundred and fifty dollars, uh, depending on what kind of um, uh, discount you can find, what store you buy it from. This can vary from three hundred dollars up to um, three fifty, three sixty dollars. But this is like a one hundred and fifty dollar gun, maybe. And they, I do enjoy this butt pad so much more. The battery hatch, much better solution in my opinion, my opinion. And the seam, as I said. So this is the Gen 1. We will now look at the Gen 2. You see here also how it's 
loosening up it's it's getting bigger and bigger and this is a gun for three hundred dollars as i said that's uh, I, I i don't say that i don't feel that that's high quality never mind that though let's see if he has done anything about that in the gen 2 spontaneously first look it doesn't feel like it bunch of molding uh, crap left there Uh, I don't know what the correct English term is for it, but in Swedish this will be translated into molding beard, leftover uh, shapes from the molds. Uh, yet again, this is a $350 gun. This is the $150 gun. Yes, I've painted it, <clears throat> but I did not need to do anything about the seam. The seam is perfect from start come on guys you can do better than that look at this all the way even the the body even has the sprue marks left spruce marks left come on that's a little bit cheap guys otherwise it's seam wise is good the uh, i like this somewhat blend of pure plastic and polymer it doesn't feel like pure plastic, doesn't feel like pure polymer. This is metal. Metal, I do believe this is aluminium even. Metal, metal, plastic switch and metal. Uh, and here is the butt pad I was talking about. Yet again, another thing I don't enjoy with the Norwich. You're supposed to, well, kind of, what's the correct word, crack it off or something like that. As I showed you on the cheaper SEMA, uh, the cheaper P90, it clicks in and then you slide it up and it locks in place. But this you're supposed to bend into place with the rubber, rubber slots there and it holds. It's rubber, so it's a, bit, a little bit flexy. It's, it feels good about uh, against your shoulders, sure. It also does give you like a centimeter, uh, half a freedom eagle for you uh, imperial idiots. Uh, extra battery space. Yet again, the uh, build quality for this kind of price of gun is actually questionable. I would have expected much higher quality of creation manufacturing. But here is the positive thing I do like about the Norwich guns. It comes with a T-plug from start. It also comes with, let's see if we can see it here. Comes with quick change spring. Which the normal cheap CMOS, CMOS, I keep saying SEMA, no, I mean the normal cheap P90, do not. This basic P90 comes with a Tamiya that I have myself soldered to a uh, T-plug. And as you see, oops, as you see, there's no way of accessing the uh, gearbox or quick change spring here. So that's a very big plus for the Norwich. Very good ideas. Maybe a bit cheap uh, making of it. Doink. Yet again, I hit you, camera. Here's the hop. I hope you can see it here. And you can access the hop. Since this feeds upside down, the P90 feeds from up down into the gearbox and shoots just like the real P90 does. It actually ejects the shells, the empty shells, uh, right straight down uh, the real, real steel P90. This has 
some kind of covering that I've never managed to understand what it would look like. I think it may might be <clears throat> some kind of uh, looking like the bolt carrier or something in the real P90. I don't know. Let's see what the cheap, see, even the cheap P90 has the same modification. So I've, I've never actually looked inside a genuine real steel P90. So I don't know what this is supposed to look like in real steel. But obviously all three of my P90s look the same in the mag well or ejector well or whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Now, another thing I can address. Let's put this back. In, in with the cord. Scrunch that. Ta-da! Yep, still questionable. Another thing with the Norwich Gen 1 that I haven't really um, discovered in my cheap Burton P90, let's see, is actually the mounting, mountain of, mounting of the uh, magazine. There we go, you see that little secondary click? Yeah, good, good job. Use a magazine which I have rounds in, so I feed them out. Let's let's use his magazine. There we go. This is, by the way, probably a King Arms magazine, no? He has started producing his own magazines. The Gen 1 uh, magazine I got actually said manufactured by King Arms and I personally do love King Arms so I don't mind but anyway back to the description here uh, something I have learned to do with all my P90s automatically since I use them so much but I have noticed when I um, borrow them to friends who haven't used P90s before they can't seat the magazine correctly. They go out into battle and they come back to me and say it won't shoot. And that's because this little, uh, well, it's really not. Oh, well, it went in right now. Obviously on this cheap one, if you just smack it down good enough, it seats. But as I showed you first, if you don't smack it down first, well, I can't do it now on this one. Good job, girl. You're good. You will see on the on the Gen 1 here. It won't go in. You actually have to fiddle it. You have after you seat it, you have to pull it back also. So you can't just push it straight down. You have to seat it to be sure that it fits. Well, it's somewhat like the M4 that you smack the extra. Let's see what this does. That seats immediately. Good. Well, tomorrow I'm gonna play with this, so actually use it in battle. So let's see if that's just a fluke or it seems to seat immediately. Yep, I don't have to pull it back to have it seat so far. No, it seats immediately here. Let's see if they have fixed that issue, because that was also something that was mentioned in more reviews of the Gen 1. The seating uh, me mechanism of the P90. So that's basically what I can tell you about the first glance of the P90 Gen 2. There were supposed to be some slight design changes also, but I can't see any right now. Might just be, for example, the um, seating issue. Another kind of, he has Torx. No. Torx or Allen key here. There he has a normal. Um, Phillips screw 
Phillips screw there too. Well, that just went away from me. Otherwise, I do like it. It does come with the quick, quick release. Uh, fasteners, fasteners, holders, magazine, uh, mag, um, no, sling mounts, quick release sling mounts, as well as Gen 1 did, and also the sling mount uh, slot here if you want to use that instead, and the cheaper one. As you see, the cheap ones, well, it could obviously mm, be a little bit from what manufacturer you buy from, but this one does not come with the quick detach sling mounts, only the normal slot. Another thing that I mentioned that I did like that Norwich did. was the was the accessories because he do do one thing I say he obviously it's not him personally it's the entire company but he is the spearhead of it so I'll still name him he as the accessories because because they colorize everything is everything that is exchangeable on this gun he actually also for the p90 right now has in two other colors gold and pink of course so me being me i bought them all well except the um, the uh, barrel shroud because I don't like my P90s long. The idea of a P90 is that it's supposed to be short. So I did not buy the barrel barrel shroud. But I went for it all and everything else. I went for the trigger. These are all um, aluminium anodized, color anodized. The um, flash hider. The mounts, charging handles, the minimal, what's the exact name here, the low profile conversion kit and the normal top rail. So with this I can either exchange the entire top rail here to make it pink or I can do a low rail which I will try. Then you actually take away everything here and have it just here so um, I noticed I think it is Call of Duty have a low profile P90 so you strip away everything here so it's just this little part and I will be trying that also I was hoping to have this mounted uh, on the gun to uh, in the uh, fight tomorrow but I do not think I will have time for that so this will be the gun I will run tomorrow. It will be truly genuine first rounds fired, first impressions of this gun. I will also have my Gen 1 with me to compare. I do have one issue with the hop up in the Gen 1. I will see if the, it's the same thing in the Gen 2. Because yet again a little bit of sloppy job for a gun that's such, so expensive. There are more expensive guns out there, but as I said, $350, you're supposed to have some kind of extra quality for that. Otherwise, I couldn't have bought three of the cheap P uh, CMA, the cheap P90s, which do not have a MOSFET. And honestly, it was actually the uh, programmable MOSFET that was the big selling point for me on the Norwich gun and also I do like the slightly change slight change of design that he does so let's time warp until tomorrow right I'll see you soon